shocking sexual abuse allegations against a former Colton High School trainer. That former trainer and the high school district are facing a lawsuit now after former football players accused her of sexually abusing them when they were minors. KCAL 9's Michelle Gilly live in Costa Mesa, Mesa, where she spoke with the player's attorney who outlined the disturbing allegations. Michelle? Juan, she was the athletic trainer. Her father, the famous head football coach, Tiffany Strauss Gordon, has since moved to Grand Terrace High School in the IE, where she has now been put on administrative leave. The attorney for the former football player says when Tiffany Strauss Gordon was in her 20s and working as the athletic trainer for the football team at Colton High School, she sexually abused six teenagers. It took place basically everywhere within Colton High School. That would include the locker room for the varsity football players, training rooms, weight rooms, classrooms, bathrooms, in vans to um, football related events and add a few homes. A lawsuit has been filed against Strauss Gordon and the Colton Joint Unified School District by the alleged victims from San Bernardino County who are now in their 30s. They claim their now deceased coach Harold Strauss, a legend in football circles and other staff were aware of the red flags of the sexual abuse. One time the lawsuit states Tiffany Strauss Gordon disappeared with a player at her father's home after a team dinner and engaged in a sex act. Gordon's misconduct was no secret, according to the victim's lawyer. The abuse allegedly lasted for years. The claim describes an alleged incident when, quote, unexpectedly, Coach Strauss entered the locker room, the lawsuit states, interrupting Gordon's ongoing sexual assault of John Doe 7046. When Coach Strauss made his way through the locker room, he confronted the two and asked why the lights were off. Gordon made excuses, claiming that they were just closing up and leaving. As you can see from our complaint, um, we believe there are several employees, coaching staff, personnel, administrators at the school who failed these kids. And so the school district is liable based upon the failures of its employees. The former player's attorney says rather than doing something about the sexual assaults, coaches made jokes about the football team trainer's behavior, calling it, quote, Tiffany's special treatment. And this from Colton Joint Unified. The district has made itself and will continue to make itself completely available to the Colton Police Department. The district is committed to ensuring that law enforcement has access to all of the facts and information for their investigation. Now, we attempted to reach Tiffany Strauss Gordon this afternoon, but had no luck. That's the latest live in Costa Mesa. I'm Michelle Gili. Back to you. All right, Michelle.